Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today is going to be a fun one because I love the holidays and it is Christmas. So we are going to cover the 10 gifts, if I can get my hands right, the 10 gifts that I think every hacker could use. Now, this could be if you're a hacker and you're looking to give someone something and say, hey, this is what I'd like because I see a lot of times people are like, I don't know what to get me, you know, and then vice versa. This is a video also for if you have a hacker in your life, if it's your spouse, if it's your son, daughter, friend, brother, whatever, and you wanna get them something, these are 10 things that they can always use, okay? The only time I'll say they can't use them is if for some reason they already have them or you get them the exact thing they already had. But let's go ahead and hop into it. First things first, even if this helps you out at all guys hit that like button hit that sub button that's the only way my videos spread and it helps a ton i say it every video but i'm telling you it is the only way that it helps or that you can help me directly because it does spread otherwise your videos don't do anything so let's go ahead and hop into it first things first try hack me so there's try hack me and there's hack the box you can google both of them they'll both pop right up this is the, just an example but the first thing and these are not in any particular order by the way the first thing i want to do is the try hack me subscription or voucher so you can do this with hack the box as well you can buy credits so you can say hey i only want one month and i only want to buy it for one person it's 14 bucks pretty cheap pretty easy right if you want to buy them six months a year whatever you can buy them this is a beautiful gift because every hacker has probably used try hack me or uses it and if they're stuck at the free tier they're not getting the full content so this is a great great gift okay the next one right over here and again these are not in any specific order azure aws google cloud platform any of these programs are just cloud environments okay if you're not familiar with these you can go online and look at them AWS for Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, GCP, and Azure, okay? All three of them will allow you to build servers and things in the cloud. Well, you can buy them gift cards or credits, depending on which platform you're on, and they can then stand up servers and have money in there to pay for it. So they don't have to have money and build a server. This is a huge, 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 huge gift. I would go crazy if someone got me this gift because I wouldn't have to keep paying for servers that I'm standing up or I wouldn't have to try and stay in the free tier or whatever. I could really expand my network, right? So this is number two. This is a great gift, great gift. All right, the next one. This is just Udemy. I'm not saying go to udemy.com, but there are all kinds of them. Depends on your budget. That's the only reason I went to udemy.com because the udemy.com budget is cheap, okay? Now, not all of these are great, I'll say that, but some of them are okay. So, what I'm saying is get them a ethical hacking course. Now, like I said, these are okay. These are beginner friendly and cheap friendly, right? They're budget friendly, that's what I like. I'm all of these, by the way, if you're watching this video and you're a hacker and you're like, dude, you could have said this, you could have said that. These are all affordable options. I'm not going to have someone go buy a $2,000 laptop for someone just because that's what a hacker needs, right? I understand there's much more expensive things that a hacker could use. These are budget friendly things. <clears throat> so, firstly, a, a, a ethical hacking course, okay? I'm not going to recommend any on Udemy personally because I don't think they're that great, but they do help people. What I mean is you still will learn something. There are just better ones out there. Now, the better ones are going to be more expensive. Um, if you can afford it, send them to an in-person one. Those are even better because you learn more. Um, if you really can afford it, SANS is the best in the world, but those are extremely expensive. So I'm not saying go to them. I'm just saying an ethical hacking course is great. If you don't know, ask them. Say, hey, what, what skill would you like to learn? Because it doesn't have to be ethical hacking course. It could be a Python course. It could be um, you know, any, a networking course or any of that stuff. So ask them what they'd like to learn. With this, make sure I didn't have on anything else. Also, a cert course, something like Security Plus, the book, right? Get them a certification. Give them, buy them the voucher for a certification. So if they want to buy, if they want to take Security Plus, if they want to take any of these certs that are out there in the world, buy them a voucher for it. 
that will help them tremendously. It takes a little bit of weight off them. Um, I'll say that because as someone that's paid for almost all of his own certs, every time you pay for a cert, you get, you're real nervous to fail it because you paid for it. You're the, that weight sitting there, right? Like, did I just waste my money? So let's try to avoid that. Help them out a little bit there as well. And again, these are all depending on what's in your budget. And then let's go to the next one. All right. So there's a couple of them that are going to be on here, but I wanted to talk about two of them. The first one I recommend is this Bash Bunny. The Bash Bunny, I actually don't have one because every time I try to buy them, they are out um, because they are so popular. They are amazing. Okay. It is a Linux machine right there that you plug into plug right into a USB and boom, you have a, an actual pen testing device. You have a full Linux machine. That is incredible. That is incredible. I think this is so cool. The one thing I like about hack five, I recommend hack five tremendously. They found their niche and they stay in it. And what I mean by that, with all due respect to them is they found hardware techniques and they stick there. They don't try and expand and create crazy stuff because they know they're good at it. They make good quality products and they keep making good quality products, meaning they're not giving up any of the integrity or any of the quality to try and cheap out and just get the money. They are really putting time into these and making them better and better. If you guys have used any of the older products, um, they keep as they make them, they get better. I will give them that. They do a great job of that. So the Bash Bunny. This is one I recommend. Every hacker can have fun with this. It's a Linux box. Even a, just an IT person can have fun with this because it's just a Linux box. If you know Linux, you can mess around with this. You can make it do a lot of cool stuff. All right, the next one is the Rubber Ducky. This is if you're looking for a little bit more budget friendly, the Rubber Ducky. The Rubber Ducky, you can do an insane amount of stuff with. It's really fun. It's really cool. It's something that um, every pen tester has probably in their arsenal and the reason for it is if there's ever a physical component if they ever say hey we need you to physically check this or you know whatever you have something that can automatically run payloads in case you do get in that building and somebody walks away from their computer so this is really really good for pen testing so is the bash bunny i think they're great the other nice thing about bash money is you can send that to somebody and say hey i'm going to do a pen test plug that in and boom there you go really nice really nice okay Next, external hard drive. This is something everybody in IT, everybody in hacking, everybody in gaming, pretty much anywhere that you use any sort of storage, this can come in handy. These are cheap. SSDs are getting even more cheap. You can see this is one terabyte, okay? I recommend uh, SSD tremendously. I actually will tell you the ones I run um, if I can see them on here, they may not be on here. Uh, they're, here we go. I run the Samsungs. I think they're great. They're small, they're portable, and they're easy to use. I run, I have a couple of them, and I've ran them for years, and I've never had any issues. So if you want to get them something cool, an SSD, you can never go wrong. This is the one gift where even if they have a couple of them, you can always use more storage. So definitely recommend this. All right, the next one. A hacker bag. Now, this I would not recommend going to myhackertech.com and like I did and finding a bag specifically for hacking, mainly because these are just bags that they are labeling as hacking bags and then making you pay more for. You can get this same bag probably for 70 bucks somewhere else. There's no crazy, um, it looks like if you they come with like a little extra stuff, but nothing crazy, right? Nothing that I would pay the extra for. The only thing you're paying for here is it looks like a foldable keyboard and a carabiner and a phone case. Like if that's important to you, awesome, buy it. But a hacking bag is tremendous. One thing a lot of people have a misconception about is they think that hackers have these like these bags right here cybersecurity red team and da, da, da and all hackers and power hackers like all these different things yes some people do but the reality is if you're going to do a pen test why the hell would i bring that like they're going to know exactly what i'm doing my whole bag screams hacker you want something that looks inconspicuous i just use a, a regular like laptop carry bag like a business bag i always have i like it it's big enough for all my stuff um and anyone that's been on the Patreon or the YouTube membership, um, 
which I don't recommend the YouTube membership because I don't put anything on there because YouTube makes it difficult. But anyone that's ever seen that, I have um, my bag opening in there and everything. And that's the bag I've used for years. I really like it. It's simple, easy, sleek. So a hacking bag, that is something I recommend for everybody. Don't get caught up on the making it say hacker bag or anything like that. Just as long as it has a laptop sleeve, that's what I recommend and make sure it fits their laptop. All right, next, we're down to the last three. Raspberry Pi. Now, there's a bunch of them, right? Any of them are good. What I mean by that is any of them will help a hacker. Any of them a hacker can do stuff with. If you want to get the newest one, that's fine. They You have to go through, this is just Pie Shop, but there's all kinds of them. You can go through and you can look at the newest ones. This is just the board. You can get ones with cases and everything else. The Raspberry Pi is a great tool. What is it? This is a computer, a full computer, and you can put anything you want on it. So I have a couple of Raspberry Pis. I have one that runs a gaming emulator, and I have an arcade machine that I play. I have one that I use for pen testing. I have them, you know, for projects around the house. I Raspberry Pis are great and affordable. They're awesome computers that you can do pretty much anything with. All right. Now down to the Flipper Zero. This one is going to be a little bit more pricey depending on what you want for it, but you're going to be able to do a lot with it. The other thing with the Flipper Zero is they're not always in stock, so you may have to wait till they're in stock, um, but these are great. Now, are these extra boards and screen protectors necessary? They're not necessary, but um, the Wi-Fi dev board is, is worth it if you want it. But basically, this is a little bit pricier than what I've shown in the, or previously, but this is a fun, fun tool that even if someone with no knowledge in hacking or low knowledge in hacking, I should say, can have fun with this. I will say this is not the product they show you on the or on the commercial or on the internet where it says this thing can hack anything. It can take cars. It can take garage door. It cannot. Okay, you have to do a lot of aftermarket things to make this thing as powerful as hacking tools that do specific things. For instance. This can do RFID reading and cloning, right? It is not the same as if I went and bought an RFID reader and cloner um, that's specifically made for it. This cannot do the same thing. It doesn't have the range. It doesn't have the capabilities. So keep that in mind that this is a fun all-in-one tool, a good everyday carry. It's about that big. It's really nice to carry around and have fun with. But that is my last second to last excuse me the first one i recommend this is something i'll recommend everybody can get okay books this sounds insane in 2023 because you're gonna say well my kid is 16 and doesn't like to read great make him and when i say make him i don't mean literally make him read i'm saying buy him a physical hacking book if he is interested in hacking he'll read it i promise you okay because these have so much knowledge in them and so much information. I have an entire bookshelf right there in my that I keep in the closet in this room. And it's just stocked full and all of them are hacking books. They're networking books, certification books, pen testing books, hacking books. And I reference them all the time. All the time. I reference them for videos I do. I reference them for streams I do. I reference them for... A t um, pen tests I do, I reference them for engagements I do, I reference them for documentation I make, I reference them for everything. Why? Because I can't memorize everything. I don't know, but I can memorize where, what book it's in. I'm telling you, this is an incredible, incredible gift. If you're, if you have a hacker in your life, a book, a hacking book is the greatest gift you could ever give them. I'm telling you, this is the I would, I would lose my mind if someone got me a hacking book. I love books, and I love hacking books. Now, will you get them the best book? Maybe. It depends on you know your knowledge on the subject and things like that. That's why I'm not recommending a book because it depends on what skill level your hacker's at, where they're at, what they're doing, that type of thing. I don't want to recommend one book. There is no one book fits all, right? Um, I will tell you. I've, I've done a top 10 books I recommend or top five, I can't remember, um, on the Patreon. And some of these books were in there. Um, the Linux Basics for Hackers was in there. Um, I can't remember if the Ethical Hacking was in there. Um, so there's th these books are good is what I'm saying. These are good books. You can absolutely get some of this. The ones I don't recommend getting if you have a younger person interested is don't get them the laws and stuff like that. Um, 
a lot of people, but if you have someone that is a little bit older, interested in the subject, these type of things might interest them a little bit more. But if you have someone younger, they're probably not going to read about the laws of cybersecurity. They're probably not going to read about um, documentation and checklists and all that. But if you have a professional in the industry, they probably will. And they'll probably be very interested and thankful. So that's it, guys. That is my top 10 gifts to get your hacker. And hopefully this helps somebody get a gift for somebody and they're very happy. I hope you guys have a great day. And hopefully you have you guys have great holidays and Merry Christmas. Thanks.